Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a glow on a cutout object. We're going to use this person here. So I'm going to select the background layer, hit Control J twice to take a couple of copies of it. Just going to work on the top one. The others are for things you'll see later. So first of all then go to the Select tool. Make sure you've got Add and Snap to Edges. Paint around the inside of this to select the person. Alt click if it's gone too far, click to get a bit more in, and then do refine. This does not have to be very accurate because it is simply just to get most of the stuff in. We're not doing a fancy cutout onto a different background, which is where you need to be really careful. Okay, that will do. So we will. Uh, Let's do a catch a little bit back in there. There we go. Now then, for that, we now have got this selected, so if we apply a blur, then we're going to work within this. So I'm going to leave the marching ants on for the moment because we're going to need it in a minute. But I'm going to turn up the radius here to blur. You can go as far as you like. Let's do it all the way up just for consistency. Then go to screen and we get this um, colouring here. And uh, if we can recover a bit of the colouring, I'm going to go back to here. And this is why I keep the, the outline on that, the selection, because I'm going to go and put in a little brightness and contrast just to recover the, the colour a bit so it matches a bit more into the background. And I'm going to take the brightness down here, contrast up. So we've got a bit more connection to the background here. That's the big one of the tricks with this is you can lose out the one against the other. So if I control D now, there we go. So we've got a glowed person here against the background and the background has not got the glow on it. We'll turn that one off for now and go to the next layer. And for this now, we're going to do a slightly different method. Again, we're going to select, but we're going to take the snap to edges off because what we're going to try and do now is get sort of the glow extending around it. So it kind of merges into the background more. So I just paint all the way around this. It's quite quick and easy. There we go. Then I'm going to go Control C, Control V, and it's now painted in another layer here. So if I Alt click on that, you can see that layer I've selected. Control D, don't need that anymore. I'm going to put on the Gaussian Blur onto that and turn the radius, just whack it right up there. And now then, here's a trick, because what I'm going to do is I want to blend this one into this one, the top layer that's not active. So if I went here and, and applied a screen to this, look at what happens. You get that outline. Click Preserve Alpha, makes very little difference to it. So I'm going to put this back to normal because you have to do the Gaussian, the so the blending on the layer itself. So to blend this one down, I've got to put the screen on this layer. Now I've got a far better connection. However, here notice that the outline here, this is a bit light. I can apply some um, colour correction to this. Uh, this time I will use curves because it's another way of doing it. Just sort of darken that down to fit a little bit more still a little bit light on the outside. All we need to do then is go to the background layer itself, select the Erase Brush, and then we're going to erase this around here. Because If I Alt click that, you can see here we're just taking out the outside of this. So we can just so that we make sure the colour matches in nicely. We could be paint, so painting this up here with a fairly soft brush so it all blends in nicely. And there you go. Two quite different ways of doing it. Let's have a look at them all together. So we have the, there's the, take those two off. So there's the original. There's with the extended outside. And there with the glow kept within the face, within the person. There we go and thank you very much for watching.